Makers entered their legislative session at the Texas Capitol after passing new funding for schools and for property tax relief. Political reporter Jack Fink is live for us now at the Capitol with the final results. Jack? Well, Ken, you don't often hear the adjectives transformative and landmark here at the Texas Capitol, but Republicans and Democrats I spoke with today are using those words to describe this session. This was an extremely successful session that will benefit all Texans. Governor Greg Abbott praised the Texas House and Senate for spending an additional $11.6 billion for public schools. That includes $6.5 billion for boosting funding for students and salary increases for teachers, librarians, counselors, and nurses. It also includes $5 billion for reducing property taxes for schools. We wanted to change the course and trajectory of education funding in the state of Texas. And we did exactly that. The governor and Democratic state senator, Royce West of Dallas, say this is not temporary relief. You've got to make certain that you're able to find the dollars on a sustainable basis in order to continue that. This is going to be lasting relief for property taxpayers. The legislature also approved capping property tax revenue increases to 3.5% for cities and counties unless voters approve a higher rate. Senator West opposed that, saying it hurts the ability of city leaders to do their jobs. To the extent that they're not uh, responding to the tax needs of citizens, be, they'll, be, they'll be ousted. The state also injected new money to boost the teacher retirement system and give retired teachers a 13th check for $2,000 each. We've made it actuarially sound with the injection of over half a billion dollars into it. And late this afternoon, Governor Abbott accepted the resignation letter of Texas Secretary of State David Whitley after the state Senate did not have enough votes to confirm him. Whitley and his office were accused of threatening the right to vote for thousands of Texans in a controversial review of voter rolls of non-citizens. Live at the Texas Capitol, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Jack, thank you very much. In